All right, everybody, welcome to Unstoppable Toys and Crafts. Today, we are going to be unboxing the Boss Fight Studios Vitruvian, ha Vitruvian Hacks Series 2 Naga Serpentine Figure. All right, we're doing it, an unboxing. We're not calling it a review. I'm not here to judge the figure. Um, I'm going to put it on a point scale. I'm just going to show the things that I like and that I don't like. All right, so if those of you who are... Uh, Fans of Boss Fight Studios, you know the packaging. It's uh, that long card, and it is an open card. And you see here, it's not sealed by any tape or anything like that. And for those of you who have a retail store, you got a little peg hook there that you can flip out. Okay, and you can flip back. Look at that. I, I don't know how many times you're going to be able to do that, but it's available. So let's open this bad boy up. All right, first thing we're going to do is unfold the tab here on the long side. Pull out the card. And, okay, so nice, simple card stock. We're looking at maybe 14 point, 17 point card stock. Gloss, really nice curved edges. Um, great collectible card. Too bad you can't really put it in like a... a nine card slot um pack if you don't want to reseal it you know pretty much you got to keep it with the case and so that's the card for right now all right we're gonna pull out the insert the inside tray oh excuse me there are multiple inside trays so we have the first one has a sword and the sheath, and a scabbard or dagger, and the sheath. All right, so right off the bat, that's nice. I like that. Okay. We're sliding right in. Look at that. One, two, three. All right. One, two, three. Uh, so these count as four accessories, All right? I'm going to open up the little rolled plastic piece here probably going to be the hands and uh yep extra hands and a figure stand you know i'm not a i'm not a oh excuse me a serpent hand okay i like that look at this way to go look at the detail on that huh look at that the inside of the mouth is painted we got white fangs. We've got uh, lost focus there. Got black eyes. So you'll get at one, two. Is this open? No. Okay, it's not hinged. But you'll get at one, two, three, four colors on this head, which goes in the hand. So I like that. I'm not a big fan of interchangeable hands. That's just me. They always seem to get lost. But the fact that this is an interchangeable uh, snake head that goes in the hand, I, I really like that. So we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven accessories without even getting to the whole figure yet. Okay, so now we're opening up the inside tray. And put that off to the side. Look at that seats nicely okay all right so we come back down here and inside we have our naga figure our alternate head and he's got a helmet all right so we pull him out and let's check out this other alternate head here for a second all right so this is not the main head that is on the picture this is Little mini goatee, I guess, right? Very 90s. Uh, regular head, so I guess that's maybe pre-Naga. If they ever come out with a figure who is uh, him, but with, you know, different, uh, I don't know, different body, right? Well, look at this. Okay, on the bottom, adult collectible for ages 15 and up. Boss fight, Naga the Serpent Druid, Vitruvian Hack Season 2. 
On the back, you've got uh, eight different figures, or well, seven because Naga's on here, that are available in the set, but this is not the full set. All right, collect them all. There are no limits. Nice bio card. But again, if you want to trim this out, there's no real place you can put this in like a, a nine-piece trading card sleeve in a binder or anything like that. So then we have that there, and then we got our Naga figure. How many pieces of articulate points of articulation? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen points of articulation? No, that's not right. Should be more, right? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, because the wrist doesn't go in and out. Fourteen, I mean up and down, it only goes left and right. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, because it goes up and down and then left and right. Seventeen, and eighteen points of articulation. Um, stands on his own. He does stand on his own very well. That's something for all you old school G.I. Joe Galobulus figures. I guess you wish we had, right? Um, how many people got to keep their Galobulus figures looking like that? I never got my bend to go that far. My Galobulus figure was like this the entire time. All right, so that's nice. Um, does this bandolier count as an accessory? If so, we'd have to count the necklace also. And the belt, so that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten accessories with the figure. He stands alone. Now it comes with the automatic foot stand, but there's no peg holes on here, right? But that's okay, because this bad boy rocks and rolls on his own. Look at that. The helmet doesn't go flush. Oh, well, it does go flush in the head. Okay. It really does. And then where do these scabbards go? Here we go. One sheath or scabbard. I don't know. One goes over here with the peg on the left. Or my left, it's right. Pops right in, I guess. There's a little bit of pushback, but maybe that's just me trying to rush off and then you got the dagger goes up here in the front so once you put these on I don't think you can really put him back into the case right because then you have to pop that off and I don't know how many times how many times you can do that without snapping off the peg all right so that's not going in but that's maybe just me hmm. so far so good all right, so we're coming back to Naga here. And wow, I want to uh, correct myself after a little further examination of the figure. And there's a hell of a lot more articulation than I counted. See, these tails go left and right and up and down. So that's two points on each joint. So it's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. 10, 12, 14, right? Then we've got the waist and the abs at 16. Then we got the elbow up and down on the left. That's 17, 18. Shoulder, 19. The hand, again, I stand corrected, does go left and right and up and down. So that comes to 21. Then we go on the other side. Shoulder, 22. Elbow, 24 hand 26 and then head 27 points of articulation on boss fights naga figure i really like this figure a lot more now um wow look at that oh there's also you know what you don't have to put the sword in the sheath look at this right here there's a little slot in the belt that you can slide this bad boy right in there 
So I like that even better. And you got the peg hole in the back if you want to, I don't know, I guess put some accessories on this backpack if, if they come with one. Loving the detail on this face. Look at that. All right. Missing eye, scar on the eye. Like that Fu Manchu style mustache and goatee. All right. I guess a mullet. I don't know what we're talking about. What kind of hair? Right, but um, I don't know why anybody would not have this helmet rock and rolling on this guy. That helmet is bad ass. I'm loving that. Look at him. Look at him. Look at that. And then just that that snake hand detail. That, that bad boy is on the money. Best way to display him, in my opinion. All right, coming back to the box for a second. Um, I'm going to keep him displayed out, you know. So the box is going to get sealed back up. I put the foot stand back in here because Naga has no use for it. But my only problem is that sooner or later, this card box packaging will get damaged for stacking it away. I mean, I got a lot of junk in the house and the missus is always stacking one thing on top of the other. So that may get messed up. But uh, Naga is on the money. All right, so we got Naga here in the Falcon Stone Keep Ruins. It's my little dial that I've been putting together for a while here. And um, if anybody is going to pick them up, I highly recommend it. I am all about the 118th scale. I grew up on that 3 and 3 quarter inch. Obviously, he's a hell of a lot bigger than 3 and 3 quarter inches. Um, damn, I wish Galobulus from that G.I. Joe but way back when was uh, as good as this i mean the paint the detail it is on the money again i don't do figure reviews this is a unboxing i don't buy figs that i don't like and i'm definitely loving this naga figure go for them pick them up um bossfightstudio.com this is not an endorsement to them but it was priority shipping i got them in about two days so that was um that was great didn't have to wait too long all right and price point is pretty much there with all the 118th um figures that are coming out about now about 24 25 bucks plus tax so see how how does he stand up against some of the other guys here's the sectors mantis figure all right rocking and rolling um but yeah go for him man go for him it's definitely I figure you want to add to your collection. Peace. I'll see you later with the next fig.